Bangladesh is a land of exquisite nature. Nature has adorned her with unique beauty. She is famed for abundant green lush fields, golden crops, evergreen trees and also known as a riverine country. In rural areas, people wake up by hearing chirping sound of birds. But a different story exists in the urban areas like Dhaka city. It's 3.30 midnight here when towering souls force them to have a deep sleep. But it is all about mechanized lifestyle of Dhaka city where people work from dawn to dusk. These are the people who are considered as the most influential segment of our economic activity. The government is committed to market economy and has been pursuing policies for supporting and encouraging private investment and eliminating unproductive expenditures in the public sector. Our economy is now on track with robust and inclusive GDP growth, expanded financial activities, positive growth in imports of raw materials and also capital machinery, steady growth of exports, a stable inflation rate and foreign remittance inflows on the rise and also vibrant development activities all across the country. A number of measures have been taken to strengthen the planning system and intensify reforms in the financial sector. For higher GDP growth, investments in both public and private sectors need to be accelerated. That Bangladesh has graduated from a least developed country to developing country due to her consistent and incredible success in diverse sectors. However, we must not be complacent for this achievement. One of the issues for concern in public-private partnership project is the arrangement of long-term financing. As you know, for infrastructure development, we need the collaboration between public and private sector under PPP arrangement. But the problem of the private sector investor is the arrangement of the long-term financing. Government of Bangladesh has undertaken a project named Investment Promotion Financing Facility 2 IPFF2 project with assistance from the World Bank for supplementing long-term finance to infrastructure projects endorsed by the government. We know the IPFF2 project is similar to IPFF project which was implemented through IPFF project cell of Bangladesh Bank during 2007 and 2016. As there is a huge demand in public infrastructure project sector, IPFF2 project has come up with the objective to increase long-term financing for infrastructure. I strongly believe that uh, like IPFF1, um, IPFF phase 2 also will be a success. At this auspicious moment, I would like to congratulate all related to our uh, IFF Project 1 implementation and also all the partner organization IFF Phase 2. Under the previous IPFF, 12 power plants having capacity of 589 megawatt, 3 water treatment plants, 1 inland container depot and cargo freight station, 1 dry dock, 1 jetty construction, to nationwide telecommunication transmission network projects and one hospital infrastructure project have been financed through the PFIs. EBL enjoys a long-standing relationship with Bangladesh Bank IPPF project designed to help alleviate constraint in infrastructure financing and promote private sector-led infrastructure financing in Bangladesh. This is certainly a very important project for the government in of Bangladesh. We are extremely happy to be part of uh, IPFF loan of Central Bank in the first phase. Uh, we expect to continue this relationship uh, for the second phase. A financing agreement was signed between the government of Bangladesh with the International Development Association IDA on November 5, 2017 for approximately 416.70 million US dollars which is equivalent to approximately Taka 3,279 crore. IPFA project's contribution in promoting long-term finance for infrastructure is well known by now. Congratulations to Finance Division and Bangladesh Bank for initiating the second phase of this very important project. In the second phase, 
we would like to support the government of Bangladesh uh, in multiplying IPFF's impact and leveraging more long-term finance resources from the private sector by introducing, by promoting more innovative and diverse financing instruments. The main objective of the project is to increase long-term financing for infrastructure development and build capacity of local financial institutions in order to promote private sector-led infrastructure financing in Bangladesh. IPFF2 project sale of Bangladesh Bank will act as a project implementation unit. One of the objectives of the IPFA2 project is to facilitate long-term financing in infrastructure projects. Our focus will be on the projects that are environmentally and socially sustainable. Technical assistance component will support hiring consultants, capacity building for key stakeholders, for example, government agencies, PFIs, project sponsors, ENS consulting firms, and project implementation unit IPFF2 project cell. BIFFL and the PPP authority will be among the project beneficiaries, receiving substantial TA support. Eligible sectors for financing are power, renewable energy and services, port development including inland container terminals, inland container depot, environmental, industrial and solid waste management projects, highways and expressways, airports and aviation facilities, water supply and distribution, sewerage and drainage, industrial estates, economic zones, eco-parks, theme parks, parks development, social sector, including infrastructure in health and education, information and communication technology, and so on. Bangladesh government has given high priority to strengthen infrastructure projects to achieve its development targets on time. However, this huge demand for infrastructure financing requires active participation and investment from the private sector. Financing facility will be extended either in US dollar or in Taka, or in a combination of both USD and BDT at fixed or variable rates. Interest rates for PFIs are tagged with 365 days treasury bill rate or LIBOR rate and the maximum tenure of the loan facility is 7 to 20 years with maximum 3 years grace period. In this space, we will be concentrating more on environmental and social due diligence. I am requesting the PFIS to sign with the IPFF2 for getting facility loan as soon as possible. That is why we should start our journey soon. We successfully completed our first phase of the project, IPFF, and under that project, we could successfully arrange long-term financing for some of the infrastructure projects arranged under PPP. Second phase of the IPF with this almost you know, the same arrangement with the IDA. And this is initiated for further financing arrangement for future infrastructure projects under PPP arrangement. The launching ceremony of IPFF2 project is celebrating today. On the eve of this ceremony, we wish the outcome will reach to its highest peak of success and contribute to the growth and development of our national economy significantly. On the eve of this launching ceremony, on behalf of IPFF2, I commit for providing hands-on service. We started this new phase of our project, IPFF Phase 2. I am sure that IPFF2 project would finance priority sector infrastructure projects with active participation of financial institutions. On the eve of this launching ceremony, my compliments to the Bangladesh Bank team, the Ministry of Finance team, the World Bank team, the participating financial institutions and all prospective investors. I wish the IPFF2 project a grand success. Thank you.